So you've gone out, you've bought your guitar, your bass, your ukulele, or you dragged it out of the loft. Uh, you've learned some chords, you've been on to some great Paul Hale YouTube videos, and you put your first chord on to play to your mum and dad, your nan and granddad. And something like this happens. You probably haven't tuned it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to tune a guitar with this great little invention called a snark tuner that clips to the head of the guitar. And then I'm gonna show you, if you don't have one of them, to manually tune a guitar by yourself, by ear. So you're gonna use your amazing little snark invention to tune your guitar. You're gonna to need to know what the strings are to tune to. So on a standard guitar, E, A, D, G, B, and E. If you've got a four string bass, it's just gonna be E, A, D, and G. And on a ukulele, it's G, C, E, and A. So this is a snark tuner. Must have for any guitarist, I think. Uh, a brilliant little invention. I'm just gonna show you briefly how it works. Uh, so it conveniently clips on the top of your guitar on the head. Like this. And then all we're gonna do, we know what our strings are supposed to be. So E. And so this tuner is telling us that it's flat. It needs to come up. Because we've got D sharp at the moment. Here's your E. And we want it to go green in the middle. And there we go. Our E's in tune. Repeat for the other strings. A. This is showing it's sharp. So we need to come down. So, so all the way to your last string, which is an E. And then with a bit of luck, you get a lovely in tune sounding chord. Beautiful. Manual tuning. Okay, so with manual tuning, you're gonna need to get your first string, the E from somewhere, whether it's a pitchfork or a piano note so you've got something to work off of. So once you have this note here, we're then gonna to go to the fifth fret, hold the string down, and we want the string beneath to sound exactly the same. So you can hear they sound pretty good. Next one down. Now you can hear straight away, this D string beneath it needs to come up. So, and then what we do when we get to the B string, we move over to the fourth fret. And you hear they're the same. And then back to the fifth fret for the last string. So that's manual tuning. Okay, so now you've got a guitar or ukulele, whatever you're playing, and hopefully it should sound nicely in tune. sound a lot sweeter.